I think we can all agree that one of the best things that happens in professional wrestling is a good old heel turn. So today we are going to go through some of the most recent heel turns in WWE, probably going back about five or seven years. But guys, before we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and put the bell on for all notifications that are the Mr. Tesh Wrestling Channel. Guys, we're growing. We've been growing. You guys have been helping out. Don't forget to comment. Big times. Now, let's go watch some people be some complete Oh, we got uh, Sasha and Becky. Oh, is this when Bailey turned? Ah, oh, it was. Okay, the biggest thing, the one thing I do love about certain heel turns, certain people just get the bigger pops. Bailey gets a big pop every time she goes heel. And it's almost like we want it to we've wanted to happen for so long. This was one of the ones that I was just like it's so obvious that it's coming. This one was so obvious that it was coming, but I still really enjoyed it. He absolutely obliterated uh Cody Rhodes. And then we have, this was the day the Roman Empire began. This was it. And I loved every second of this. And I still, to this day, acknowledge my tribal chief. So good. Still can't, I still wish, ima imagine the pop if this wasn't during the pandemic. Imagine the pop Roman Reigns would have gotten it, it would have been deafening. It would have been something... It would might might actually have been one of the best rea crowd reactions of all time. You ain't a monster unless I'm here! Reigns is mangling this steel chair over the fallen... Just wild. Complete destruction by Roman. Surprising Trish Stratus breaking the heart... I wanted, the I wanted this feud to be so good, and like, minus the cage match, it fell very flat. Um, I feel bad for Trish on that because I know her and Becky did the best they could. The cage match alone, the cage match to end the feud was probably one of the best matches um, these women could have ever put on and ar arguably could have gone down as one of the best female matches of this modern day era. But it was just so hard to get into the feud because it just felt like it didn't have enough flame going into the final bit. We knew, we Thank knew you, the Trish. Was gonna sting. Thank you, Trish. Up. Oh my goodness! Ray Wyatt dumped on top of Matt Hardy. Curtis Axel. To show her respect and applause well. once again. And Bray Wyatt. Oh, no. Matt Hardy. Oh, uh, I don't. Why do I not remember this? I don't even remember this tag team. <laughs> Interesting. Now, this was the heel turn that we needed. Absolutely incredible. Thank you, Becky. It, oh man, this made her a legend. That moment there and the bloody nose made her a legend. I don't want the guy who's been playing tag team bitch to almost for the last year. Oh my I God. <laughs> I love it. Does he just kick him square in the nuts here? I think he does. Oh no, okay. Oh, Edge just being vicious. Man, I'll tell you, we go through so much professional wrestling at this point that you just sit there and you're like, oh my god. Like, you almost forget everything. God. Again, like I said on the first one, we gotta love a good Bailey turn. Bailey turning heel is like one of the most exciting things. Listen to this crowd. And the one thing with Bailey, she somehow finds a way to organically go back to a face. And then she just turns heel again. Like, we never really got a Bailey true face turn with the new version of Bailey that we have. We just get Bailey turning heel and then organically going back to people in the crowd cheering for her, and then she just turns heel again. It's a, it's a nice, beautiful cycle of Bailey. Bailey's had enough and right back. They care about each other. Last week was just the tip of the iceberg. Where this absolute brawl in front of us. We got Kevin Owens. Well, it down with what? One another. 
Kevin Owens turning heel is just always good stuff. Yeah, I love Kevin Owens turning heel. Kevin, he, Kevin as a bad guy is the best you can get. Kevin might go down as one of the best heels ever. Ah, ah, good old blonde mommy. Good old blonde mommy. This was a horrible character for... I get the weeks of all the emotional frustration. Oh. That was a horrible gimmick. That was a horrible gimmick for me. Uh, yeah. Oh, War Raiders? Or Viking Raiders is what they were at that point. God, they really thought they were going to make Shanky something. They really thought, like, for the longest time that Shanky was going to be, like, the next great Kali. And they were pushing him, just like Veer, too. They were pushing them through the roof. Veer took three years to show up on Monday Night Raw. 657 vignettes. <laughs> ah, AJ and the club always been... I've never truly seen AJ as a true face. I've never seen Anderson and Gallows as faces. Like, for me, they're New Japan royalty, and they're always, they're heels in my mind. God, they, they push Shotzi like crazy as well. They push Shotzi like crazy. Is she injured right now? Guys, let me know in the comments. I can't remember if Shotzi's actually injured or not. Again, another person that they were trying to push through the moon was Omos. And it just... I don't know. I don't know why Omos didn't work. The Hurt Business would have been... It was a great concept. I loved the Hurt Business. Again... Oh! I've never seen this heel turn. I've never actually seen that one. Interesting. This one I have seen. And this is what sold me on Braun Breaker. Because I didn't see it coming. I, you know, Breaker being Breaker, being the, bat, the big tough dude. God, very Eddie Ray Mysterio, that that lariat. Very Eddie Ray Mysterio. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeet. How do you not get Cesaro over in WWE? Can 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 we talk about that for a second? How do we not get Cesaro over? <laughs> That big beard of this was amazing. So this this was one of the only like NXT black and gold moments that I can say I I turned NXT on for this moment. And then Finn comes out and does what he does. Oh my god. This was what true NXT black and gold was. Pure carnage. Pure carnage. Oh, ref bump, Little Nate. What a running knee. And that's where we brought in that ugly ass belt the wood belt the eco-friendly belt probably the worst belt ever to be brought into wwe one year today since my dad died this was savage this was savage the fact that you bring sasha banks out while natalia is cutting that promo by her dad and she does this just that was good booking i loved that booking Thank you, Sasha Chance, on top of that, too. You hear all that motivation, that respect, 
Yeah, I never heard that. Man, if we think about it, few, uh, Priest and Finn have been feuding for so long. I have to relinquish the Universal Championship. Later that night. Yes, tonight. God, Ambrose is such a good heel. This this was beautiful storytelling. That was beautiful storytelling. And again, the rise of the Roman Empire. What in the hell? Or circulate in the mind. Oh, I acknowledge my tribal chief. I acknowledge you, my tribal chief. Again, another feud that has been going on forever. Rhea and Liv just keep circling back to each other. This is crazy. I always forget about like when they first kind of started on the roster. Even though this was only like what four years ago. But I love that. I love that blonde hair, Rhea Ripley. <laughs> Ah, I was there in the crowd for that. I'll tell you right now, though. I will tell you right now, though. That crowd was a hundred times louder than what everybody heard on television. I don't know if you guys were there. Let me know in the comments if you were at Clash of the Castle. That crowd was one of the loudest crowds I've ever experienced. Paying homage to when Eddie Guerrero turned. The newest member. This is great. Of the Judgment Day. Wait, the Prince. Is joined the Judgment Day? This was, again, incredible storytelling. Finally, I can see clearly. You know, and over the years, I started to feel pretty good. I came back home. What if Rated RKO got back together one more time? Ah, this led to an incredible feud. That lockdown match. Oh my God. That, I think that it was WrestleMania. It was WrestleMania. They had that lockdown match, that street fight that ended on top of the transport truck or whatever it was, the trailer. That was, oh, God, such a good match. Concerto. Yo, Dala. How do you not get hit row over? How do you not get hit row over? Man, it, it just didn't make sense to me. What is this? This one, oh, this is the, two, oh, is this Buddy? Okay. How do you not see the value in Buddy Murphy? Or Buddy Matthews? How do you not see it? Man, that one just bugs me so much. How do you not see so much value in buddy matthews and keep him in wwe in a prime at least mid card spot anyways guys if you like this video please leave a comment and don't forget to like subscribe and put the bell on top heel turns of the last five or seven years guys we've got videos dropping every single day of the week moving forward we're gonna try and hit 365 days but the help is on you guys don't forget to like and subscribe subscribing to the channel and share the channel all right guys take care and like always be good people